Hello everybody, Hooded Cobra Commander 788 here, and this is another 90s G.I. Joe quick shot review and the final video of 2020. And why not finish out our year of the 90s with one of the most 90s figures ever? This is 1993 Blast Off from the Mega Marines. The Mega Marines was a sub-team of G.I. Joe that fought against Cobra mutants. Blast Off included a lot of accessories in two colors, blue and bright orange. The blue accessories all came on a plastic tree and you'd have to cut out the individual accessories yourself. I am missing one of the accessories. He included a figure stand that was the same color of blue. I do not have his original figure stand. His accessories included a blue submachine gun. Very nice. And a blue, um, I guess you would call this a rifle or some kind of laser gun. He included a blue knife. He had an orange missile launcher with two blue missiles, and this was spring-loaded, so you could really fire this thing. Just load a missile into the launcher until it clicks. Trigger was in the back, so just aim and fire. He also included an orange helmet that fits very tightly on the head, so you have to be careful about wearing the paint off of the face. It's not easy to get on or off. Uh, come on. Ah, there we go. Now, this helmet, I think, reminds me of something that would have been in the mask toy line. What really made the Mega Marine special was the bio armor, this moldable bio armor in this container here. And yes, it is still in there. Bio armor was, in fact, really just Play Doh. That's right, you had Play Doh with your G.I. Joe figure, and you would use this bio armor mold. You would put the Play Doh in here and then put the mold over the figure and mold Play-Doh armor on the figure. It's incredible, isn't it, G.I. Joe figures that came with Play-Doh. And yes, the original Play-Doh is still in here. Do you want to see what 28-year-old Play-Doh looks like? Well, for that, you'll have to wait for the eventual full review of this figure. With the accessories out of the way and without the Play-Doh armor, what you're left with is a figure that is bonkers. He has a marbled gray camouflage pattern and a ton of other colors. They just threw the color palette at this guy. According to the number on his chest, he is apparently Thing 2. This is an obscure character from a fairly obscure sub-team of G.I. Joe. The Mega Marines were very sci-fi. They were not grounded in military realism. That was my very brief look at Blast Off from the Mega Marines. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the YouTube channel for G.I. Joe toy reviews. This quick shot is also a small hint at what the theme will be for next year. The theme for this year was the 90s, and the theme next year will take us away from the 90s and get us more back into the 80s. And I can give you another hint, the theme is not orange. So if you guessed orange, you guessed wrong. I'll see you next time for the first full G.I. Joe toy review of 2021. Until then, remember, only G.I. Joe is G.I. Joe.